what do we think? I hate lace-ups the back. We want to hear a little bit about how you envision yourself looking on the big day. I definitely want a mermaid style. Something that shows off my asset. I like this outfit more, but it's too simple for the occasion I'm going for. Probably that one just for the blouse and the, the butta. I love it. OK, you're crying. Everyone's crying. <laughs> that they were there, it was like something that cannot be explained in words. I, I, I agree with that part. I don't know about this mermaid style, though. My mom is very opinionated and she... Number three, getting the haters. In the thrilling episode of Say Yes to the Dress Big Bliss, viewers were given a captivating story of resilience, self-assurance, and the unflinching support of a wedding consultant and management as they rallied behind a bride named Jessica. The episode began with Jessica, a confident and a determined bride, approaching the wedding boutique with a clear vision of her ideal gown. The turmoil began when Jessica's friends and family expressed significant displeasure of her initial decision. The first garment, which spoke to Jessica's heart and encapsulated the essence of her vision, drew heavy criticism from her entourage. Despite the negative remarks and an entourage that appeared to be an entourage of haters, Jessica stayed firm, convinced that the dress embodied all she had envisioned for her special day. What do we think? I hate lace-ups the back. My aunt has to be the most opinionated. She's just like me. If we don't like something, we'll definitely say we don't like it. However, so is her entourage. It's a maybe for you, it's a no for me. I'm very much my own person. Nobody's gonna stop me from getting where I wanna be or getting what I want. Camille, the bridal consultant, and Nicole, the salon manager, intervened to resolve the differing perspectives, demonstrating amazing tolerance and expertise. Their job expanded beyond simply assisting in the choosing of a wedding gown. They became champions for Jessica's wishes and vision. The two women were the pillars of support that every bride requires during such a vital time in her life. Jessica politely accepted the entourage's reservations and consented to try on other dresses suggested by her friends and relatives. Despite the fact that the alternate options received a more positive reception from the entourage, Jessica stayed loyal in her devotion to the first garment that had captured her heart. Jessica's confidence and adoration for the outfit she thought was designed for her were unshaken despite the entourage's negative comments and differing perspectives. The turning point came when, with Camille and Nicole's steadfast backing, Jessica bravely donned the outfit that had piqued her interest from the beginning. The consultant and manager fiercely backed Jessica's decision, emphasizing that it was her special day and that her happiness should be the top concern. I feel like a muffin in this dress. <laughs> Very much. <gasps> Look at that face. Second oh, choice, yeah. but I still, I love the first one. Hands down, this is your wedding. Yes. <laughs> Amanda, let me ask you a question. If you could create a dress for Jessica. I love that one. I think that's pretty. I don't think she's going to like it either, but I like it. In a pleasant twist, Jessica's mother, who had initially shared the entourage's worries, came around to admire the elegance of the gown. After experiencing Jessica's glow and excitement in the dress, even her entourage agreed that it was a stunning choice for her. Finally, Jessica proudly said yes to the dress, and the show ended in a spirit of love, unity, and a celebration of a bride's unflinching commitment to follow her heart. Yeah, I definitely don't like it in the stomach area. Yeah. It just accentuated my stomach. Jessica, that is extremely flattering. No, it's not. Do you guys need glasses? Let me tell you a little thing about corsets. Corsets work for everybody's figure. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. You. you look beautiful. Number two, out of budget. Bride Vicuasia was encircled by a crowd at Say Yes to the Dress, a bustling bridal shop who were more interested in shouting their own opinions than in hearing what she had to say. The environment was fraught with contention and fighting as Vicuasia attempted to convey her ideal bridal dress. 
The drama reached its pinnacle when Wikwesh's heart was moved by a stunning gown revealed by the entourage. Starry-eyed, the bride fell in love with the gown, only to be disappointed when her entourage disapproved of the style. We want to hear a little bit about how you envision yourself looking on the big day. I definitely want a mermaid style. Something that shows off my asset. Okay. Did you check price on this? No. This is $24,000. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, I well, no wonder. I, I, I agree with that part. I don't know about this mermaid style, though. My mom is very opinionated and she... How you feeling? There's drama. I love it. You love it? The bottom is everything that I wanted. In an attempt to contain the financial chaos, Wikwesia's mother reminded the group of the original budget, which was around $3,500. But when the bride walked into the changing room to try on budget-friendly dresses, her entourage turned down every option. As the group became increasingly irritated, they suggested deviating from the original mermaid style and exploring various gown possibilities. In an unforeseen twist of fate, Wikwesia's mother mistakenly chose a magnificent gown without considering the expense since she was motivated by a mission. When it was revealed that the chosen dress would cost an astonishing $24,000, the astonishment was palpable. The bride's mother and her were both stunned and wide-eyed. Not to be outdone, Wikwesia's cousin also made a costly entrance onto the scene, wearing an $8,300 ball gown that cost more than the specified price. Wikwesia's entourage, enthralled by the gown's grandeur, insisted that she try it on before passing any judgment. There was a collective gasp in the room as Guiquasia emerged in her beautiful ball gown. The mother and other members of the entourage were moved to tears as they witnessed the bride's metamorphosis thanks to the outfit. Guiquasia's sparkling grin and the exquisiteness of the gown combined to produce a stunning moment that went beyond any price constraints. The apparel had an undeniable emotional impact even though the financial implications remained a concern. After much deliberation, the mother chose to go over budget for this once-in-a-lifetime outfit because she was moved by the enormous joy it brought to her daughter. Just the top, there's something off. I don't think it's you. Do you like it or are you just going with it because you have it on? It be around $3,500, but I just feel like if I really go out there in something beautiful and it's over $3,500, I'm getting it. That's a trick question. Put it back on the rack. Yeah. Back on the rack. <laughs> back on the no. rack. I love it. Okay, you're crying. Everyone's crying. <laughs> Wikwesia made a historic decision that extended beyond the initial budgetary limits when she said yes to the dress, grinning and crying with excitement. Number 1. Like a Chicken in the enchanting world of bridal fashion, emotions run high as Anushka embarks on her journey to find the perfect gown that mirrors her dream of resembling the ice queen Elsa from Frozen. As she steps into the bridal boutique, the talented designer Divyak takes on the challenge of turning Anushka's vision into reality. Anushka's dream of becoming an ice queen bride adorned in a gown reminiscent of Elsa's ethereal beauty is met with a mix of excitement and skepticism from her entourage, especially her mother, Minel. Minel, a woman with high expectations, is determined to witness her daughter in the most breathtaking dress imaginable. Divyak, with his keen understanding of bridal aspirations, set out to create a gown that not only fulfills Anushka's desire, but also captivates the hearts of her discerning entourage. So whose opinion will matter? That's for the bride Mine. to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I like this outfit more, but it's too simple for the occasion I'm going for. Probably that one just for the blouse and the, the patta. I remember you describing your vision as looking like Elsa. You want to look That's like a princess nice. today. Ice queen. Today and always. The dressed chicken in the end of the day. What? <laughs> The last thing I expected to hear was to be called a chicken by my mother. As Anushka steps into the first gown, the anticipation in the air is palpable. However, the reaction is mixed, leaving Anushka's mother and fiancé longing for that elusive something that seems to be missing. Undeterred, Divyak, the mastermind behind the bridal magic, carefully selects another gown that holds the promise of fulfilling Anushka's dream. The moment Anushka dons the second dress, an undeniable spark ignites into the room. Her mother and fiancé are rendered speechless, their awe evident in their wide-eyed expressions. Yet, amidst the overwhelming joy, there lingers a sense of incompleteness. 
Diviac, perceptive and attuned to the emotions at play, unveils a gown crafted according to Anushka's initial vision, a gown that embodies the essence of Elsa in all her icy splendor. Yeah, like my smile is frozen here. <laughs> I know. I would <laughs> like it to go wider. So we need to give you something to shake it up. That they were there, it was like something that cannot be explained in words team for so many years, this might be the moment the penny drops and her mom realizes that she's leaving the house. Did you think you could get my mom to say that? I feel <laughs> like I've accomplished so much. As Anushka graces the room in her Elsa-inspired ensemble, a magical transformation takes place. Tears well up in Minal's eyes and the realization dawns that this is the dress her daughter was destined to wear on her special day. However, Diviak doesn't stop at creating a stunning gown, he adds a personal touch by presenting a custom dupada. This delicate piece of fabric bears the names of Anushka's brother and father, as well as other beloved ones she had lost, ensuring they are present in spirit on this momentous occasion. The significance of this gesture is not lost on Dilnaz, the designer who crafted the gown. Dilnaz, having experienced the pain of losing her father, empathizes with Anushka's journey and joins the celebration to offer her heartfelt congratulations. In a poignant moment of shared understanding, the bride, designer, and entourage came together to create a memory that transcends the realm of bridal fashion. In the end, as Anushka utters the words yes to the dress, a collective sigh of contentment fills the room. The journey, marked by tears, joy, and the spirit of lost loved ones, culminates in the perfect gown that transforms a version of an ice queen. So I think it's a good start. I'm not quite there yet, but I would be open to seeing what's next. Okay then, let's do it. She wants to look like an ice queen. Let's give you ice queen. I've been waiting. Anushka, my love, are you saying yes to the dress? Yes! Yeah, there's Papa. Just seeing those names, no? I had goose pimples on my hands. Captivating, radiant, and surrounded by the love that transcends even the boundaries of this magical realm. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.